Hello. Um, where to start? I suppose it's not been the best week for me, uh, plan-wise. Um, I wanted to make a, a video at some point during the week, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not been. It's not been a particularly good week for me. I've felt a little bit on the on the rough side. See, I suppose, as those of you who have CFS will know, when you uh, when you use too much energy, slightly too much energy one day, it might not hit you for uh, a day or two afterwards. But, so if you do too much on one day, the next day you might feel semi-okay. Uh, and then you think, oh, well, well, the amount I did yesterday w was fine. So you do a similar amount the next day because you feel you can and you want to do as much as you can on, on every day. Uh, but then it might not hit you for another day. So you think, oh, I'll do the same amount on that day. But then it accumulates and then it hits you like a truck. Um, that's what happened to me. I've had a pretty, pretty busy couple of weeks uh, with engineers coming round to sort out the new room, uh, moving things into the new room, uh, pottering about downstairs, um, which is which is more than I used to do when I was when I was upstairs. Um, but really, CFS is it's it's a bully, really. It's it's the worst kind of bully because it never leaves you alone. It's always there. It's always prodding you in the ribs or tripping you over or um, you know, giving you dead arms and whatever else bullies do, nipple twisted and things like that. It does it because it can and it's, it knows it has the upper hand. Uh, so when you finally had enough and you think, actually no stand up and you or you can sod off and leave me alone and it, then it punches you in the face and then spends a, a week or two kicking you on the, on the floor um, so it's you you can't really win the only way you can win is by <laughs> sort of going along with it and hoping that it, you don't get to the point where it kicks you in the face. Um, but, yeah, the last few days I've been, I, when I have a rough patch, I, I become quite uh, introverted. Well, I'm uh, more introverted than, than I already am. Uh, but I think the contact that we have with our friends and, and what have you is is very important and I think the online friendships you inevitably make with, with chronic fatigue is hugely important uh, sometimes I or we won't see or talk to anybody for, for days outside of family some people who live on their own don't, don't have that at all so they're the only sort of contact that they have with the outside world. I know I was, I had a, a pretty rough phase about a year or so ago uh, in which I didn't talk to anyone outside of family or uh, one of my best friends for probably about six months. Um, and having somebody with whom you can talk is, is incredibly precious. Even if it's even if it's not for long, um, uh, if I see somebody in real life, it's if if, if, if someone comes around to visit, I'm pretty much done after about half an hour to an hour. I find I find meeting people in person extremely exhausting, um, a lot more so than perhaps talking on a phone or or on an on an IM client. Um, and, and to have a friend who, who understands uh, what you're going through, having friends who have CFS uh, is 
is in a way more comforting uh, and it does make life a little bit easier to know that you're not alone. Uh, I'm sure none of us think that we're alone, uh, but you do, there are days when it can feel like that. But if, I mean, if we don't, if you are a friend of, of somebody with with CFS and, and you don't get a reply for a, a day or two, or a text or email or what have you, it's, it's nothing personal. Uh, if we, for one reason or another, say that we can't see you one day, it's it's not personal, it's, it's just that we probably do really want to see you, but just can't. Um, I know that even when I've been laid up in bed uh, and feeling absolutely awful, that uh, text from one of my best friends saying something like, oh, my car of the day is a 911 GT2 RS, brightened my day no end. Uh, I don't think I replied, but it just it made me think about cars for a bit, and I love cars, so it took my mind off feeling rubbish and I flopped back down into it. So if you haven't heard from us in a few days, send us a random or funny text, to something saying hi or an email. Uh, there's a website, some e-cards I think, that uh, I'll put the link in the, in the description doodle box. Um, uh, along on that note, and on the online friends note, um, this Sunday uh, I proposed a Spoonie Sunday on Twitter, like Follow Friday. Today is Follow Friday, uh, where people tell other people, uh, other accounts to follow on Twitter. Uh, and I proposed a, a Spoonie Sunday to Christine from But You Don't Look Sick, who wrote The Spoon Theory, um, who devised The Spoon Theory, uh, asking that if there was a uh, such thing as a spoony Sunday, and there wasn't, so she thought it was a good idea, and I think that the Sunday we can do it. So, if you have chronic fatigue or uh, if you are a spoony, um, join in and suggest other spoonies for spoonies to follow. I think it'll be quite good. But um, yeah, I've got a splitting headache now, so I'm going to go and shut my eyes for a bit. But uh, I hope you're well. May you have many spoons today. Toodaloo.